how's everybody doing I have my warm water with lemon and ginger some honey not even for like the detox or whatever benefits people drink it for but just to like feel better immune support vitamin C all that good stuff just gonna try to really kick I don't know what it was yesterday I wasn't feeling well I woke up at 2 not feeling well at all so I took like a it's like a cold and flu or something but like the PM draws you on and that thing like knocked me out cold I just passed out and then everybody's awake and I could not get myself to wake up. I think it's like 12 o'clock and I just could not get myself to wake up. I was just, I, even still now I feel kind of like loopy and drowsy but you know how you sometimes take those PM things and you feel super loopy? Yeah, that was me. But I'm trying to do my skincare now and get the day started. I cleaned everything, went through and sprayed the whole house with like an essential oil blend that's supposed to help deodorize. It's like an antibacterial deodorizing type blend of essential oils so I went ahead put, put some drop a bunch of drops of that essential oil in a water in a spray bottle and like literally sprayed everything yesterday if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog I went through I did the couches the kitchen bar still just trying to like really freshen up the house as much as possible especially since it's been a few days now since Josiah wasn't feeling that big Sunday so his coughs linger for a very long time that's basically all that he has and I got him something on Amazon. It's like a drug-free cough syrup. We'll see how he does with that. But I'm just trying to do my skincare. And I have been really liking this vitamin C Naturium Super Serum because it's like a great all-in-one. I just use this one versus like all three of the other serums that I would do. I used to do vitamin C, niacinamide, and then there's like a hyaluronic acid one. Whereas this one literally has... All three of those in one. It has vitamin C, retinol, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicylic acid. And I do two pumps every morning and every evening. And I've been doing it for a few days now. And try not to pick my face because I am like a picker. Like I'll see something pop out and I'm like, whoop. Try not to do that. And so far I have been liking it. And I especially love, I love convenience of things. Coffee, skincare, anything. I love when things are convenient and this is super convenient and I just love the Naturium brand in general. I feel like it's a really good quality while still being being affordable brand. And this is a glass bottle. I thought it was going to be plastic but I'm actually impressed that it is a glass bottle. And this I've been using multi-peptide moisturizer for some time now, a few months now. And I really like as well. It's not greasy at all. It quenches the skin. And it like seeps right in. It does not sit on the skin. It doesn't make it greasy. And I know skincare is one of those things that you kind of have a favorite that you use and you continue to use it. I'm kind of the same way. But I stumbled across Susan Yara's. She had like a Reels one time. She seems to have very similar skin to mine where it's like dry. I'll have fine lines, things like that. Her skin looks fabulous. And she came out with the Naturium line. So I went ahead. She does say she did say that she sells on Amazon. So I looked it up on Amazon and picked out a handful of things. And I love everything that I got so far. some drops of essential oil to the mop portion you don't want to add it inside to kind of help deodorize the floor went through washed all the cabinets I like to wipe them down if I see like kids fingerprints throughout the day because these are painted white cabinets so if you want them to last the best thing you can do is kind of like wipe down any grease stains definitely helps with longevity and then ever so often I like to take either a dish like a dish sponge with soap warm soap and water or just like a rag like I used this green one wet it with soap and water just regular like dish soap and then I added drops of essential oil to just to further help like deodorize 
and went through and washed all the cabinets. I might do that for the bathrooms as well. So I feel like I'm on a, a cleaning streak for the holidays these past few days, you guys. I'm going through and like cleaning everything. I just got this in the mail from my sister. It's my little Christmas gift from her. So cute. I got one for her last year. I, it was like a random Facebook ad and I thought these cups were so cute so she got me one this year you can personalize like the sweaters um, they have many different designs the hairstyles the hair color it's like such a cute little mug so she's gonna drink coffee in hers I'm gonna drink it in mine miles away and just enjoy our matching cups such a cute gift like a nice personalized gift in my opinion so I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a cup of coffee I'm in my bathroom now and I'm gonna try using my gua sha tool here that I recently purchased just to like get rid of tension things like that I do want to try to use it more consistently consistently I'm very new to this so I'm still learning on like the proper way to use it the proper techniques all that fun stuff so have some grace but I did already apply my overnight recovery balm I didn't want to use like an oil oil this is like the balmiest thing I have and it has many great skin benefits so I kind of put it all over my face, my neck, and my um, the back of my neck. And I want to kind of like use this tool and glide it, get rid of some tension starting from the back. I know they say to use it at like a 15 degree angle. And just kind of give myself a little at home massage of sorts almost. Get rid of some tension. If you guys have any of your own tips and tricks, definitely let me know. I'm still learning. This is probably only like my third time using it, but I can feel it as I glide it along, like different points where I need tension to be relieved. I know that some people use the, um, like this side right here, curved side. I just feel like this fits the curve of my face better and probably does more for my face. Could be wrong though. Like I said, I'm brand new to this. Kind of do what I feel like will work for me at the moment. There's so many good videos on YouTube. I didn't do that so much for puffiness or anything, but just to kind of like help myself relax, have a moment of relaxation and get rid of some tension and I feel like this is just the perfect tool for that. I can see myself using this more and more. I'm definitely a complete newbie so I'm not here to like show how to use it or anything. I just kind of like wanted to have a moment of relaxation and if you ever have any tension I feel like that's like a great natural thing to do. A fake Christmas tree tip if you want your house to smell like Christmas is to get a pine smelling candle. This one's from Target this year. I'm trying to use it up so that I, have to, I don't have to like store it. I actually really love it. I should have bought like two for next year because I love that it's like big and massive and it's like this dark green color. Matches the decor perfectly. I just love how it's like super moody looking. But every time I walk in here, it smells like a fresh Christmas tree even though we have a fake, fake tree this year. So <sighs> kind of like cheating my way through that. But I'm going to sit down now and kind of like try to do Christmas planning. I'm definitely a planner type person personality instead of just like swinging through things i definitely like to plan through things so i have my planner here that i've had for a while it's like a checkered print planner I'll go ahead and plan out our christmas lunch so we're gonna be christmas eve we're gonna be just us and the family i'm gonna vlog try to vlog every single day christmas eve christmas day i might have the kids open the presents in their stockings for christmas eve and then i plan to do a christmas brunch with the family here, just us. And then open presents, all that good stuff. Hang out the whole day, do nothing. And then since Christmas Day is on Saturday, and then Sunday, get together here with our entire family, like my parents, my brother, his wife, and do like a Christmas lunch, day after Christmas lunch. So I'm trying to plan that out and like what I wanna do exactly. And my plan is to do every plate, just to make it easier so I don't have to make extra trips to the grocery store since I get every plate delivered every Friday anyway. And this week they have salmon. They have like a peppercorn salmon, lemony green beans with side of potato wedges. So I like stocked up extra recipes for that for everyone. Planning to do that. My mom's gonna make a few things. My sister-in-law is gonna bring a few things. And then I wanna make those. You ever see like the Pinterest puff pastry Christmas trees where they do like one puff pastry sheet, sheet some Nutella, some people do like hazelnuts, another puff pastry sheet, cut it up 
into like a triangle shape and then do the branches, twist it, bake it, and then put powdered sugar on top. Something super simple, but like really cute and festive like that, just to make my life easier. So I'm trying to plan out exactly what else I will need at the grocery store so I'm not like wasting time. That's like one thing that I hate. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then tomorrow's vlog, I wanna make hot cocoa bombs. I'm kind of like thinking out loud right now. That's what I'm doing. And I've done hot cocoa bombs on Valentine's Day. So I have the heart-shaped molds. And since I already have those, I don't feel like wasting money and getting like the sphere ones. And maybe I'll do that in tomorrow's vlog. Make my own hot cocoa bombs for the kids. I feel like they would really love it. Even though they don't really care for drinking hot cocoa, I just feel like it'd be really nice for them. Just to have, I don't know why kids just love like hot cocoa bombs. So today kind of consisted of just basically staying at home, trying to decompress, de-stress from the beginning of the week where everybody kind of had got like funky i don't know what it was a cold something so we're just trying to stay home and kind of get over that try to clean the whole house deodorize the entire house clean the sheets wash the couches everything if you guys watched yesterday's vlog that's what i did and just trying to like clean everything out and like freshen it up so that nothing none of the like germs or anything are lingering um we, everybody feels better now just josiah has like a lingering cough for him he always is the last one to let go of any coughs so i purchased like a cough syrup i don't know if i mentioned it in this vlog or not um off amazon but it's like a drug-free cough syrup with like honey and all these natural ingredients i'm gonna give that hopefully that like helps him get rid of the cough because it's like the only thing that's lingering no fevers no nothing just like those annoying coughs that linger so and and, and i feel like now <laughs> try to cough in public now everybody's like like giving you the death stare basically death sentence so it's like the worst thing is coughs or sneezing if the like coughs and sneezing are never going to be the same in public ever again like that's it that ship has sailed we're just going to chill for the rest of the evening i'm going to go ahead and get this footage up today was definitely more of a chill day stay tuned for the next couple of vlogs i'm so excited for the christmas vlogs just great memories to have for ourselves give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out simple hangout vlogs and i'll see you guys 